Hey folks, happy Wednesday to you. Today is day three in our uh, pastor's devotional this week. We're following our November prayer calendar, which you can get in the link underneath this uh, video. And uh, Wednesday, November 18th, our passage is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 15 and 16. So find that 2 Corinthians over in your New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, Corinthians. 2 Corinthians. Chapter 4, verses 15. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. Let me read that one more time. Yes, everything is for your sake, so that grace as it extends to more and more people may increase thanksgiving to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. You know, the theme for this coming Sunday um, is finding Thanksgiving amidst the pandemic. Um, and it's been a difficult, painful year in, in lots of ways, given the pandemic, given the racial unrest in our country, given the uh, di division um, in the uh, uh, political realm of our country for many many people it's been a very difficult um, and hard year and how do we find thanksgiving um, uh, amidst that um, I know for many of us we we won't share that we're thankful to be with family and friends this year because we we can't or um, because of the pandemic we won't be able to travel like we would wish or or thankful for a huge spread of food with all sorts of people sitting around. Many of us won't do that um, out of ab abundance of caution. Or, or thankful for the extra we have because we got the bonus from work or whatever. And many of those things are not happening. So many of the things that we might generally be thankful for that are kind of outward um, expressions of life, as it says in this passage, that even when the outward expressions of life are wasting away, we are still renewed on the inside. I don't know about you, but it's made some of my conversation, the pandemic has made some of my conversations with people all the more poignant and all the more important because I haven't been able to gather with people as much as I would like and as much as I'm accustomed to and maybe even took for granted. So some of those phone conversations or brief visits, even mass six feet away from one another, how sweet and precious those visits are, that they, they renew me on the inside. Having to have spent more uh, getting, not having, getting to spend more time with my teenage kids, you know, um, especially through the summer when many of the activities that they would generally be engaged in that would take so much of our time were canceled. Um, all of the times in which they would be requesting to rather than have dinner with me or hang out or do this, that they're off with their friends, they weren't doing that. And so we just had so much time together that um, I, I know that with a 15 and 16 year old kid, um, I would not have had that much time um, in any given year. And that renews me on the inside. So how can it, even when things seem like they're wasting away on the outside, how can we be thankful and understand what's happening, what God is doing with us, for us, through us on the inside? Um, 
And as it says that that we might, uh, that God's grace extends to us, increases our thanksgiving, all of it to the glory of God, all of it to make God known. That we're thankful for what God has done and and um, through that thankfulness that God is glorified, God is made more known in and around the world. So that's that's the goal. It's this perfect passage um, for the theme of worship this coming Sunday. All right, and our prayer prompt today, um, remote learning and communication via technology. I own Zoom, Team, Sky, Facebook, email, phone calls, etc. Now I realize that there was probably more than one time in each of your lives over these last eight, nine months of the pandemic in which you thought about taking that computer and just throwing it out the window because you couldn't get it to do what you had did. Or throw the phone out the window. It, it wouldn't uh, connect the way you wanted. It connected, but then at the most important time, you lost a connection that lots of times these technologies don't work. But we indeed have realized how helpful these technologies are to the business world, um, how important they are to the church world. We've used these technologies so much more in the last nine months in the church world than ever before um, and in our own personal lives. You know, visiting with your grandkids over Zoom is not the same thing as having your grandkids sit on your lap and reading them a book. Visiting friends over Zoom across the country is not the same as the vacation that you had planned to take together. Or visiting your, your college kid um, over Zoom is not the same as having them uh, bring their basket of laundry home and you being able to embrace him or her for just a few minutes um, over a busy weekend. But it's something. And it has kept that connection. And for those things, we, we are thankful. So might we pray together. Gracious God, we do give thanks for this day, for this time together, and Lord, for all of the technologies, including this very phone and all of the systems that record this and will transmit it to people who will be watching it on the other side. We understand that there are multiple steps in the technology that are needed, and we are thankful for all of those steps so that we might stay connected to you, connected to, to one another, and we might learn new ways of being connected to you and connected to one another. And, and Lord, we pray that those new ways would be signs of your grace, that they would renew us on the inside, they would increase our spirit of thanksgiving, and that all of it would lead to you being glorified. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless. Have a great day.